I'm a pit bull, and I approve this message. world welcome to conversations with the pit bull i'm foster quarter that, guy over there. that would be danny mason i uh, hey i gotta tell you danny danny was like early today and so and but he came in empty-handed no donuts but you know what i had him beat boy because i brought in the almond clustered dark chocolates and woo wee so, <laughs> we feeling good up in here. Paula, I'm sorry, baby. How are you? Uh-oh. Danny? I have to Hi, put Chris. these on up. Hey, Everybody? Hey. How you doing? Oh. That's why they call it radio. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, good. Yeah? Hey, uh, it's a new dog in your house. I, I saw it on a picture you accidentally sent me. <laughs> Congrats. Yes. Congratulations. Um. It's a sleep. It's right a sleep. Now, so he yeah, or she? It's a, it's a he. Oh, he still got his little nutsies. Yeah, we we've been calling him <laughs> Snowballs. Snowballs, <laughs> and, it, and so he's gonna be Snowball. <laughs> he's gonna be ballless. Oh, so he's gonna be go from Snowball you know. to No Ball. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, he gonna right. be No Ball. <laughs> All right, hey. Um, I used to have a Labrador named Snowball. You did? Yep. Oh, good old black, dog. Black Lab named Snowball. Yeah. Hey, um, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> all right, today, um, and I always say this, don't I, Paula, but on Tuesdays, it may be a short show because uh, our guest, we had a secret guest, too. And, whoops, sorry mm -hmm. about that. This is the first time I ever did this. Um, and they had something come up that was that I can't even talk about so there is no guest and bottom line is it's just us here today and I wanted to take this opportunity to you know share because Danny's not on Facebook Paula can you believe that I know it he's got a wonderful I'm life <laughs> I know he got a wonderful <laughs> damn life see that's why he's my partner man because I know how to pick him. He's smarter than me. <laughs> okay. That's right. That's why I got this fella up in here, man. I don't know anybody that's ever come to me and be like, man, my life is just so much better because of Facebook. Yeah, like, right. <laughs> nobody except, like, the dudes that are getting paid. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. The guy that owns Facebook. Uh, but hey, besides uh, that, I got some like, stuff. oh, man, these dudes. So, da, da, da. I know. Well, I got, it's good that you're not, actually, because that makes it easier See, you my guinea pig, or not guinea pig, but you my, my sounding, damn it, I just erased what I wanted. My sounding board, you know, because you, you know, Paula, because Danny is, uh, he's like just sh straight up, you know? It's like you get, he's not hearing this before or anything. So, let you me. might actually go out to have dinner with me and I might actually engage you in a conversation besides playing with my phone. Right, That's, right. I'm one of those, one of those old throwback kind of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, so listen, this is what I wanted to talk about. There's a couple of things. One, uh, we want to, as we always do at the top of this show, you know, we want to give a shout and bow our heads and a good vibe to Chocolate Thunder. You know, he, he <laughs> left us this week. Yes, sir. The big D, Dale Dawkins. Man. You know, he was tearing up some rims. So uh, they didn't say what he passed away from, but... 
you know, um, it was probably- <laughs> Daryl Dawkins was like, I mean, not only was a dude incredible on the court, but I mean, you talk about somebody with a ridiculous mouthpiece, boy, that dude could talk some trash. <laughs> I, I know. He I know. said, I, I mean, you could just, you know, if you ever, if you don't know him, just Google him or YouTube him or whatever, right. but you'll see some hilarious stuff coming out of that dude's yeah, mouth. He, He's like, man, I had this one dunk called Yo Mama, and that was for anybody that got in the lane when I was coming through the dunk. And I'm like, <laughs> he said, I'll dunk on him and say Yo Mama. Yo Mama. I'm like, <laughs> classic, man. He was something He said, else. I had the Rudy Tudor shaking. If you ain't moving, you best be grooving dunk. That's he right. used to yeah. name all his dunks. <laughs> And this was back in the time when dunks weren't even really That's right, popular. popular. Like yeah. he was really an innovator and just uh, just changed and the game and, and, and put it right. above the rim. And so he would name all of his dunks. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, you know, it, I mean, you see all these cats in you know in WWE and these celebrities that know how to talk trash. Like a lot of them borrowed it from your boy. So yeah, rest in peace. Uh, and he was Thunder. he was the first um, of the NBA players, Paula. To come out of high school yeah. to go to the NBA. He was the first one to do that. So you know how bad he must have been. So And uh, one of the first people to break a black I mean break break a uh, a backboard. Yep, and a blackboard. Yeah. You know, he did that. That's why they got him out of high school. <laughs> yep. He was tearing up the blackboard. Yeah, that's why the dude started rocking them big ass afros because all the glass it would just start falling, falling down, down. and yeah. he had, uh, yeah. security precautions. Yeah, so Dale Dawkins. Dr. Baby. J was like, That ain't happening to me. That's right. So he he's out there with out. He's up there with Wilt and everything, so, you know, praise Jesus. Now, the main issue is I just found it ironic that two incidents in the same week. Paula, don't hang up on me. You went away. I well, I heard that little sound. I know you was gone. The, um, um, in the same week, we can have on different sides of the world, the, the guys in... France with the bullet train, you know, three heroes, um, buddies, friends. It's all about positive energy, you know, saving millions of people. Well, not millions, but, you know, it would be millions if you did. You know what I mean? It could be millions or hundreds or ten or three. But if bottom line, if you don't want to die, it doesn't matter. So um, that and in the same week, you have this insane dude in, with the TV station shooting and i want to bring that up d because i want to talk to you about it and um you know because it affects what we do right and and as i was been looking at that this week you know it crosses up because he used social media you know and um in a real sick way but the reality is this cat has lifted the bar See, because all of the all of these people, when they go off, it's always about doing something more spectacular, more stupid, more crazy, more. And but it's a couple of things to go with that. One with social media, because it directly relates to what's happening with the hate on Facebook and, and stuff, you know, and and which we are semi out of. But we still going to do our what the trolls say thing. But we'll tell you more about that later. Uh, the fact that. He, used, he he made the excuse of uh, the church shooting, which involved, you know, black and white issues. And then that's why it was ironic to me because the thing that happened in France was it was a black and white thing, but it was on the other side of the spectrum. You know, it was total balance. And, you know, we know this particular guy is insane. You know, no matter what he says, it, it is not... A, he said, oh, D- Danny, did you know he said... Um, that he was hated by black men and white women. And and I think, that of course, that was his perception because he probably wasn't happy because he wasn't <laughs> so either like one of them. Trump or whatever. Like, <laughs> no. Hated about black men and white women? Yeah, like, well, he wanted to, Trump. He was probably angry because he wasn't a white woman. Ugh. And, you know, and angry because he didn't quite fit the black man. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, okay. Cheryl, um... You can call in, please. Um, you've been requested by our studio engineer. Okay, the, um, you know, and obviously it was crazy, but the way he did this, and see, the reason I'm saying this is because, and Danny, again, you're not on Facebook, and I swear you're so lucky. I want you to, I want to show you something. Because it's about 
the hate. See, now tell me, because I'm predicting. Read that. Look at that, and you tell me what you, what your vibe. You don't have to say it out loud. We're gonna do that later on, because we're gonna start making people be responsible. But <clears throat> what I'm trying to get to is the fact that the way that that hate is on Facebook, the way that you guys are doing what you're doing. I'm predicting somebody's going to get killed, okay? Somebody's going to die in rescue parlor. It's going to be around the dogs because, the, is that amazing? That's, ridic that's ridiculous. Like, essentially, like, some, I don't know, it looks like a, some type of uh, thing from somebody on Facebook is probably, like, in rescue or whatever, and somebody else posted something with a picture of her daughter, you know, made, like, a meme, something that's, like, very... Uh, evil saying like yeah uh, these people like, up there. like the little daughter is saying these words about her own mom like you know i don't know you pull a kid's picture off the internet off of their page or something like that and then you start blasting it off on some hateful see you lucky you ain't up here but how how, how would you react to that now say that's your son okay and that's you and this group of people up here that think this shit is funny huh I mean, I don't have kids and I don't have Facebook, so it's, you know, I'm left with being like regular Danny, how I handle business. Right. And like, but you this know, I like to think that stuff like that wouldn't happen to me. And I also like to think that you wouldn't have to get a chance to see what would happen to you. If that happened <laughs> that's to me. what I'm saying. See? And I'm telling that's you, that's part of the reason why I don't get on. I don't get on all that because it's like there's no way that that can't agitate you or make you sad or make you feel violated or whatever right you know? and that, now danny imagine this okay they didn't do this to this woman just one time right they didn't do it one time this shit has been going on for a year like over what though like over bullshit over nothing like like rescue it's fucking rescue beef pardon me for okay they're gonna say false is being sexist and shit it's female bullshit it's that, female because me, me and Danny has had arguments. All right, he'll cuss me out. I cuss him out. Paula cusses me out. We we we. I told <laughs> show today, you know, and, and she cusses me out. and She thinks I'm upset, but I told her I don't even take it serious unless she say mofo three times. You know, you call me mofo <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> you just when you, getting started. Yeah, sure. you know, but that third time up. I start paying attention. Okay, so. The, the, I think I put my money on Cheryl if y'all were in a cursing contest myself. I, she seemed like a tough yeah, cookie right there. Hey, oh, that's Cheryl on the phone. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. You bet you'd better lose, you'll lose in a cussing contest. <laughs> hey, man. I go into a bar and sailors run out. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. They'd be like, back to the ship. Right. You know hey, um. I don't know what part of if you've been part of it and you know you heard what we were saying from the beginning or something, but you know this is that shooting the television station. You know, I I, I don't think that I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. I do not believe it had anything to do with racism or right. anything else. The right. fact that he said that the guy worked with me once and didn't want to work with me anymore is pretty telling. Because exactly. Because he probably has emotional issues exactly. that makes him not want to work with me. See, and, and being in media and having done many television shoots, Danny and I, we can directly relate to that. And we have worked with people that after working with them one time, you don't ever want to work with them again. You go, oh, hell no. <laughs> and it's a reason for that, you know? And, I mean, and looking at this particular person's whole thing, and I'm, I'm not even going to go into it because he doesn't deserve that. But my thing is this. I think that we are doing ourselves in the world uh, a disservice if we just write this off as a crazy guy. You see, because it's deeper than that. He, yes, hands down, he was crazy. But what we have to do is use this kind of opportunity to look into the, the, the underlying surfaces and, and the different layers because of the social media. And how do we see this coming? You see, uh, Cheryl and Paula, I particularly, I'm telling you, I'm not psychic. I can just see the future you know and i'm telling you if if what these people are doing to some of these people who i've just met and what they did to me also on that note i mean somebody's gonna get hurt 
Somebody is going to yeah. die in Facebook and rescue. Yeah. And I want to say this. Uh, this lady, Desiree, if you keep fucking calling me with those crank calls, and that, uh, I'm not just telling this, Danny, like it is. Uh, the police is in your ass. I'm tired of you, lady. This lady is insane, and I'm, I'm putting you on notice that I'm filing every kind of charge in the world against you. I'm going to have you put away like an insane person you are. For and, talking? Yeah, huh? For talking, she's gonna file everything against you. Just no, 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 no. I'm, I'm having her stalking and all this other oh, stuff. Oh, oh, she, oh, she's oh, great. Gotcha. Called me five minutes before the show. I'm her little uh, fascination, but I'm gonna make her famous. You know, she was on Judge Judy. That's why you need a. Uh uh, iPhone, dog. Like yeah. you messing she with came the off Androids. Like, like that was the only one of the only no, reasons no, why I talk. bowed down and got rid of my old rotary crank, <laughs> old school phone no, or whatever, calls, is yeah. because they said I was like, you know what? I don't even want a phone because I don't even want people to have access to me to be able to call me and whatever. They're like, well, we need it just in case of emergencies. But they were like, the one cool thing about iPhones is that you can block people's numbers so that. They don't ever call you again. I'm like, oh, I don't have to oh, switch. I've been blocking. I don't have this, to switch my phone. Listen, you got to switch your crazy phone. Woman. Cool. She's I'm got, with that. She's got her daddy. Thanks, Steve Jobs. Oh, huh. What? Oh, she's like trembling right now. Uh -huh. uh, don't mess with me. All right? I'll put all your little stuff out in the street. All right, because I'm tired of you, lady. Honest to God. Okay, so well, it, just, don't you guys bear some like responsibility though, like by just being in that world, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like I look at that thing you just showed me, just mm -hmm. playing devil's advocate or whatever, right. right? I'm like, I'm like, don't they have some kind of like privacy settings where it's like, yeah, you can't access my pictures that you I have on Facebook. There's no only privacy the, against the insane people. people. They had, they walked this guy out. Security walked that guy out. Okay, and what? A year later, he comes back and shoots two people. I'm not talking so, about that dude. I'm talking I'm about saying, what you just showed but me. I know, but I'm saying these people. I don't know this woman. This woman came back from a vacation and just called me out of the blue, Paula. Okay? Just called me out of the blue, just like her buddy, Donna Barone. Okay? In my opinion, another nut. A uh, 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 narcissist. She's talking about me. She said, Dude, she don't know me. These people are crazy. Just because we had some people on the show. And it's getting deeper, believe but me. But that's part of the reason. That's I'm, part of the. I've been silent, but you. you but that's you part of the. Isn't me. that part of what you get for having a show? No, that ain't what you get for having a show. What you get for having this a show. This is what we argued is about it, when we first started this show. Like, but, but, but. Like, and but I'll tell you because it's like. 300 hours that we got, Danny. Yeah, but They're, think about it. Like. Because, like, I'm an editor. Like, I love nothing more than being outside and like on the other side of like the, the, the camera or whatever mm -hmm. like I don't like to be seen I don't want you to you just see what it is that I create but I don't ever want to be seen just put see me the, the man behind the curtain it's like I I got in front of the camera because Foster asked me to and and so and, and the work that we were going to do the work that we have done with our friends like Cheryl and mm -hmm. Paula and um, you know everybody has has I, I do feel has made an impact and we have a, a social responsibility to to do what it is that we're doing but to to think that that doesn't come with some type of consequence or some type of uh, you know put you in the in the line of fire for nuts like it's kind of like naive don't you think um, no because that's why I mean, we're gonna have this lawyer on uh, actually my lawyer and uh, some of the other people's lawyer who the law on cyberbullying and stuff and he's been so people are about to get a rude awakening and because you know it's a thousand dollars account and you can go to jail yes indeed see what you look like with bracelets on you know you think you can slander people and do different things and stalk people and just do all this old insanity they got laws for that because this is and you know where it started and when you uh, signed up for Facebook? No, Hollywood. Oh. Because of celebrities, just like what you just said. Is that what we get for having this show? Because we put ourselves out there to try to do some good for the dog. We're not doing, I mean, it ain't like we actors and, you know, we on some soap opera with and, and doing uh, Johnny Depp money, you know? But like uh, that same person, like if that same person wasn't on Facebook, for example, and they were doing rescue and somebody had beef with them or whatever, mm -hmm. said, hey, I don't like the way that you're using pinch collars or I don't like the way that you're but they're like, not bringing doing any five rescue. dogs or whatever, like the, that the, person would have to come down to wherever they're doing their rescue and and challenge them or deal with it and that's when they get smacked the hell up or they right. get 
like you know whatever you know right. what I'm saying but right. if you're if I you if a, you allow your it's it's almost like having a castle when you leave the drawbridge down all the time I'm like you know what if the peasants decide the crazy peasants decide to run up in there and steal your loot like <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you don't have a, I get, I don't know, do you, like, it brings up a bunch of issues, like privacy. I tell and, you what, I'm, I'm going your, to. Your expectation of, you know, of comfort. But I'm like, yeah, you know what? Like, Facebook is in your house. Like, Facebook mm -hmm. is in your bedroom. I'm like, it's not like this person I'm poked sorry. their head through your bedroom and said, hey, you know what? <laughs> I don't like how you do rescue. You're like, what? Oh, let me get on the phone and call the cops or whatever. But mm -hmm. I'm like, if you're on Facebook, like it seems like you 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 release a certain amount of your expectation for privacy. Same thing with being on an Facebook. On -air and I'm glad you said that because that's why when we come back off our vacation, Paula, we're gonna we and Cheryl, uh, I'm starting my um, screenshots. It's gonna be what did the troll say? So everything. <laughs> Everything that, that you like guys that. write, because you know, you all know y'all all in each other's shit and everybody's got fake profiles and all this stuff. So everything that's being written, I'm telling our audience, I want all you guys to start sending me your screenshots. Danny and I are going to read what people say. That would probably be pretty interesting because that's, I mean, just looking at, like, if that's the kind of chatter that's going <laughs> that's on. That's the kind of and, chatter. Like, I've heard, Paula, I've heard we Cheryl want you, and Paula play tell too. crazy stuff right, that we, they do. We'll give you a role. <laughs> All right, we're going to, you know, we, we ain't going to put, we, it's going to be great. i tell you this. And I'm going to just say, just on this one particular person, because I'm really sick of you, I'm going to start playing uh, that Judge Judy episode, Paula, on every episode <laughs> of our show. If you call me one more time, lady, you call me one more time. And she did a Judge Judy episode. Which she was about some dog risk. And she won the case, but it shows how insane she is. Okay, so I'm just telling you. You call me one more time, you will be on our show as a regular. And I'm going to do director's commentary. Well, you know, okay? one of the so things... It, one it of ain't going to matter what Judge Judy is saying and what the other people. I'm going to do my own commentary. One of the things, okay? too, is like, you know, and I, was, I forgot what I was talking about like later. Maybe it was like earlier this week. But I was talking with somebody about how... You know they they had that that slogan like history is written by the winners right mm -hmm. so the the person that controls the the platform or the 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 media so to speak is the one that dictates the actual truth or right. Right. or lie you know what I'm saying wait a minute and wait a minute say that again because I think that's us. It is. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you're gonna like, be in big trouble. That's why you. That's why you have cats to have like <laughs> radio shows or TV shows, and they got their mute button or whatever, and they'll be like, "Yeah, go ahead and start oh. running." It's like boop, or they have their uh, whatever. But I know personally, they as, bleep it out. Yeah, exactly. Like, or you know, they can put a horse's head on somebody or whatever. Right. Like, you can't win when you fuck with the media. I know. <laughs> that was the first thing that I that I learned as a um, as an editor. You know, when you're beginning to learn theory and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And the first thing they tell you is that all media are constructions. Mm -hmm. And that it, it gives you an understanding of the facade, the, 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 um, the manipulation mm -hmm. that is capable. And also, thankfully, when you have good instructors and stuff, they teach you about your, your social responsibility that comes mm -hmm. along with having that power. Mm -hmm. Now, after being an editor for almost 20 years, I developed a whole myriad of skills that if I was on some malicious, <laughs> like, uh, bent, like, rage or whatever, right. I could really do some damage with what it is that I'm capable of. <coughs> Just <coughs> special effects That's and right. exactly. sound and whatever. I'm like, and they always say, like, don't ever piss off your editor because, yeah, That's I right. can do it. And, I, and it reminds me. Um, a few months ago, we were talking with Cheryl, and she did an interview with somebody from a newspaper and right. had all of her words kind of like right. redacted and twisted around or right. whatever. And this dude kind of presented like a one-sided version of of this, uh, what was going on with the pit bulls up there. Right. And it's like, yeah, you and I know the truth because we know Cheryl. We know right. what, what the hell she knows exactly. and what she's talking about. And that dude knows the truth or whatever, too. But that dude works at the paper. So yes. uh -huh. the stuff that everybody gets to see is is a whole different story. And I'm like, well, you know what? Um, we also bear part of the responsibility for even talking to jackasses like that. 
you're trying to help them out because you feel like spreading the message is important. People mm -hmm. should know what these statistics are about mm -hmm. animals and animal welfare or whatever. But mm -hmm. if you don't do your due diligence on who this person is who's going to be relaying or controlling the actual media platform, right. then we, owe some, we, we, we have to own some of our responsibility right. and say, hey, you know what? You ain't going to catch me twice. Right. You know what I'm saying? What right. dumbass George Bush say, hey, you fooled me once. Fooled me twice. <laughs> well, fooled me twice or whatever. Like, you know. So. It's, it's like, well, in, go ahead, Paul, uh, Cheryl. I so want you to read just a little bit of it. With, you don't have to read the whole thing. But go ahead, Cheryl. Let me yeah, listen. I want with Danny my to experience with the news media, uh, they come in all friendly and, hey, we want to tell your story and blah, blah, blah. And they're... They ask you questions that make you think they're really interested in the subject and what you have to say. And then what comes out on the printed page doesn't hardly reflect at all what your message is. Right. And um, it's like uh, I, I just don't understand it. At least be fair and balanced. Right. right. I don't understand the one-sidedness of it. Well, that's what well, that's well. Danny's point is. The fact that the you know the media it comes with the good and the bad. The most important mm -hmm. thing too is how the what what is considered media or the type of platform has changed so significantly in in recent um, in in recent times. Like before oh, yeah. before you would mm -hmm. expect that from your nightly news or your from your uh, from your newspaper because the 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 platforms weren't as uh, varied. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But now it's like, oh no! If you can hop on the internet, you can be a blogger. You can be a, a you know, a, a person that has some mm -hmm. type of uh, credibility mm -hmm. that's not checked right. or right. or somehow there's no checks and balances or whatever. In so that and that's knowing that, especially somebody like myself, knowing that power that comes with just being, just having access to the media platform, mm -hmm. um, I know the damage that it can do, which is part of the reason why I stay away from it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's like I don't even engage. I don't even get too like engaged with people in uh, in the rescues that we mm -hmm. that we deal mm -hmm. with, and mm -hmm. the people that uh, that are uh, that got their foundations, or the people that are uh, raising money, or you're doing something for mm -hmm. a good cause. I'm like, you know what, man? If I don't break bread with you and I don't roll with you every day, like, who knows what you're up to? You know yeah, what I'm right. saying? Well, but, listen. but and it's some know. sheep out there too. People are just following following the leader. And this oh is yeah. Yeah, this is a point that I want to make real quick, Paula, because then I want to get to your dogs, okay? And um, we can save some lives around here. But I'm trying to save a life right now because I'm telling you, this is foster question. Y'all going to look at this in a year, six months, a year, or two years, three years from now and say, damn, foster was right. You know, she went off. And I'm going to say she because it's rescue is probably 75% female. You know, um, it could be a he. Because, you know, guys are taking, it could be me, damn it. Because <laughs> you keep on with me. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm saying that. That's right. You know, I'm saying to you, because this is very, very serious. Dandy, just like what I just showed you. Okay. This thing with this woman, this is repeated. People's, you cannot destroy people's lives. You cannot make light of people's situations. You cannot say that you're compassionate for animals, for dogs, and you don't mind destroying a human being's life who Hallelujah. has kids in it. You know, this is this is this is some sad shit. You know what? Okay, you from yeah. this this lady named Lamore, right? We had her on our show. That's part of what made us public enemy number one, right? Because on the Tuesday you weren't here, right? This lady, the uh, these people, now they to let put people on Facebook say some of these people she is like the antichrist right she had never done nothing good and never and it told me run from this bit okay run you better she gonna cut up your car and put your social security number out there she gonna put you over there she gonna come and get your wife and your kids are gonna be missing and you and, and it's like okay and that's all well and good that's your experience Okay, that's your experience because you bring that kind of energy. Shit happens two ways. You know, can, nobody can't just be, you know, that's why I'm getting ready. I'm getting me and Desiree going to engage. I'm going to let her see how, what it is when you stick your hand in the fire, okay? But this woman, Lamore, just went to court, right? For some chomped up bullshit with a neighbor. That's the other thing. These people are calling people's neighbors and getting people's neighbors 
to spy on them and do different shit. And, and, and from social media, then imagine that somebody that don't even know you calls, goes by, some kind of way gets in touch with your neighbor and tell your neighbor shit about you to cause a feud between you two, mm -hmm. right? And she's in court, right, with her neighbor. This is somebody's house where they live at with their kids. You assholes who don't even have well, kids. Gotta, who, gotta, wait a minute, let me tell you. Look, this is what I just had you read. <clears throat> this woman, Donna Barone, goes on Facebook and is talking about this woman's life like it's a fucking joke. She's talking about, oh, she's sentenced. And da, 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 da. Keep it to yourself. It's certain stuff that you just don't need to say. Didn't your mama teach you that? Didn't your mama tell you, Danny? It's certain stuff you just don't say. You just leave it alone. But that's evil, that's cruel, and that's what I'm saying. That's the kind of activity that's going to get somebody killed. It's going to get somebody killed because you can only push a person so far. What are you trying to do? Do you want someone to commit suicide, they, which they've done, and that will happen that. again? Or do you want them to come and shoot you in the head on that last day of their life when they are pissed off, when their life is falling apart, they're losing their kids, they're losing their house, they're losing their family, they, they, whatever. You know, don't destroy people. And that's what I'm saying. It's very, very serious. And we're going to have the lawyer uh, come on the show and talk about this. But you can't do it, people. You know, you got to be more human. You got to be compassionate. You got to be loving, man, because this insanity, this hate, it's just ugly, man. I don't know what kind of parents you people had, you know, because my mother taught me better than that. It's just certain shit you just don't do. You just don't. Yeah, just like, I mean, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around. And I think that's part of what you were saying earlier is like, oh, you can be a, you can be a sounding board because you're not, you're not even, yeah. you're not on the grid, so to speak. Right, you just and tell so me, it's, Danny, this is So it's is interesting to me because I'm like, you know, there's maybe like two or three things in my whole life that, that would get me fired up about anything. You know what I'm saying? And one of them is like, don't mess with my dogs and don't mess with my family. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And you start mentioning things like, oh, yeah, well, this person is getting their family messed with. And I'm like, all right, well. You know why like you know it's like if somebody were able to come talk to my neighbor and put something in their ear to bad about me that would be pretty impressive because the people that I consider to be neighbors like if I actually if they're actually my neighbor in the sense that I consider a neighbor to be a neighbor you know me or we've broken bread we've we've done things that would take so much to over you know overtake or to wash away that you're like, yeah, cool. Put all the crazy people to come knock at your door and, and tell them crazy things about me. You know how I get down and you right. know what it is. So I don't have to deal with that. That's why I don't have a lot of neighbors. That's why I don't right. have friends. That's why I don't care like <laughs> about likes. Wait and a all minute. This other I resemble stuff. that remark. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn, he's he been just, bullshitting me, Paula. I just think that I just think that in, Cheryl. This, in this day and age, you you have to Well, let me ask you this. Um Say you are a victim or you are kind of like unduly caught up in this cyber warfare or whatever, right? Like, can you just eject? Like, can you just like, say you, say you cancel your account? I know the, the information and people will still be talking about you or whatever, like in yeah. the, in, in right, the but real it won't world affect or you whatever, but like, but like, the, do you know anybody that's just kind of like, boop, you know what? I'm off for a I while. I see like, people all the time. Oh yeah, people all and, the time and wait a minute, I've and, had it. I'm done. Right. Yeah, they done, and 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 that's the whole reason we brought the topic up, is because right. it's sad when the people leave rescue. See, if, on oh, a yeah. personal level, it's one thing, but when people are getting out of rescue, that means more dogs are dying. Part of and, this is is a lack of innovation, at least in my in my looking from the outside in. Yes, is that people seem to use. Like, say you're in rescue and you're just mm -hmm. a genuine person trying to do some good. And you say, hey, you know what? This makes uh, rescuing more efficient or it, it actually allows me to convey information on a, a light speed or whatever, right? Like, I can see how the technology, um, the benefits, like, how, how, they, how they can complement what it is that you're doing or mm -hmm. whatever. But at some point, if it has, like, those diminishing returns, you say, oh, you know what? It opens me up to this whole slew of like people throwing pebbles or these right. people launching salvos or whatever. 
you need to be able to engage or find a, a, a vehicle or a platform that can still achieve what it is that you're looking to do that doesn't have that. Like, for example, you know how they have these like online communities or whatever that are very specific in terms of their nature, like the their subculture that they mm-hmm. deal with. It's like, hey, you know what? We're the we're the pirates. We're in the pirates and like how pirates get down and whole mm-hmm. pirate culture or whatever, mm-hmm. right? Now somebody like me that doesn't know anything like about pirates or whatever, I'm not on their their forums or their their community, their world mm-hmm. or whatever, mm-hmm. right? If I try to infiltrate <clears throat> and pose as a pirate or whatever, that that community is so tight that I, I would easily <laughs> be exposed. Like mm-hmm. Facebook is too too uh, varied right. in, in order to to preserve that that kind of uh, the uniquity and the beauty of that subculture. Right. So right. as people in rescue, it's like perhaps, the art. perhaps we need to engage somebody in technology or amongst ourselves find a, a platform or a vehicle that that satisfies the good aspects and doesn't uh, rely on a Facebook or something that's not being policed or or um, you know handled right. properly is are there things like out, like that out well, there like yes and no but from one, um, one part I want to say um a major part of that said probably 75 percent of that of what you're saying is that's what we do that's what we've been doing for the past three years. You know, that's, I mean. That's what I felt like this was. That's yeah, why I felt like, no, you know, when I say there's a lack yeah. of innovation, yeah. part of what appealed to me about doing this show was that it was innovative. It's like, oh, you know what? There aren't anybody doing a live animal. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you've got you've got the, the wonderful people that are killing it with radio, like Fred Cray mm-hmm. and Debbie Dahmer and people that have these shows, like Blog Talk. I'm like, that's innovative. It was mm-hmm. innovative. You know what I'm saying? What we're doing is innovative and we're gonna We've, be and even we, more innovative when we go we're gonna do late night oh <laughs> Lord, but, yeah, I, gotta, but, I ain't gonna say nothing about that but yet. By, by creating a new you can't stop me. using a new innovative platform like like this you you're able to control at least some of the the in and out if you want to if there's a crazy person on this show it's because hey you know what they got invited and we're not afraid of that's one right. crazy person or whatever. that's right but if you or say as a result three. of that crazy person i'm starting to get calls i'm like yeah you know what it is a radio show it, that's it's right a, you're still t- tied on facebook yeah. but i don't i don't have i don't have those problems that's right. i was fishing last week you know what i'm saying that, I'm like, that, um, i was chilling hey well i want to say this though because i as i said that what your statement was, 75% of that is what I hope that we represent, you know, to to, to the, the many, many people. That's why this is so pissing me off, because I've never had haters in my life. You know, I mean, I've had people with little jealousies and shit, you know, but my life is my energy is good <laughs> you know i'm looking at the pitbull energy drink you know sign it's like my energy the world that i live in is one of peace and love and you know you may hey even i had money i had lost money i had made money i get money money comes when that money ain't what it's about i'm at peace baby in life and i live the no drama zone so this is really shocking for me so okay that's the 75 percent now on the other 25 percent as you say, out of social media and with rescue and stuff, the people who I've talked to who are really the rescuers, because these, these are drama queens for the most part. The people who are busy doing the work of rescue, they ain't on Facebook. They ain't got time to sit up there and Paula's and on Facebook. Paula, yeah, but I ain't talking, but see, but Paula ain't in the drama queen stuff. See, that, I'm saying, yep. the, but Paula's not a rescuer either. See, Paula is a cross poster. Paula helps share dogs. She helps. But that's all part of the, the, the mix. That's how it all comes together. Everybody does their part. But she's not pulling dogs out of the shelter. Go ahead, Paula. I'm sorry. You know, I, I start talking. <laughs> Here's how I look at it. <clears throat> okay. Um, a dog's life the rescue, the, you know, uh, the rescue world is a puzzle, okay? Everybody is a piece of that puzzle, okay? The shelters have the dogs. There are transporters, there's pullers, there's rescues, there's pledgers, there's networkers. um, There's people who share the dogs from groups. So to me, it's everybody is 
a piece to the puzzle. I'm just a small piece down in the corner. Um, what I do is I get the dogs out there so that people can pledge on them, so that they can see them, so people can see that they need transport. Um, I'm kind of um, the projector guy, I guess, or something. You know, I get the dog out there. Well, so Jay, let me ask you this, it. because you just said something that comes back down to the crux of this problem, too, Danny, is have you seen this kind of hate inside the cross-posting people? Um, no, not really. Okay, so then, and it's not amongst the foster people, so it comes back to two things. It's the the money. The money. The money. These <laughs> pledges. You know, these people are trying to tear people down because they're all fighting over the dogs and the money yeah. behind the dogs. And they need to set the pledge up, just like we said before, so the human beings never get access to well, the that, that makes Well, that makes a whole lot of sense to me because, um, you know, like then you begin to speak language that I understand. Like when I think about like that, that example that I brought up earlier, and Cheryl could probably speak more to it, like when you engage a, a newspaper and you write mm -hmm. like kind of like a, a one-sided mm -hmm. thing or whatever. And we talked about it when we were doing that show. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, you know what? You're writing on a dying platform. You're trying to sell some papers. Mm -hmm. You're trying to get people agitated so that they'll look at or subscribe or that, buy right? that piece of, it's mm -hmm. like that uh, tabloid Right. tabloid right. syndrome right. or whatever right. but it, it it does come back down to follow the money cuz you'd right. be like why would somebody write something that's so one sided after why would you even take the time to interview me for an hour if you're not going to use this information you, oh i get it you're trying to follow the money basically right. you're trying to hit the bottom line and most often you can always reduce things to something like that like the money is one of those common denominators that if you follow a lot of bs and any different type mm -hmm. of subject matter or whatever you'd be like follow the money like right why would you want to go out and kill like hundreds of thousands of dolphins and whales like like that's got to be purely evil right you're like right. oh no i'm not evil i'm just about my money like right. oh that dude's evil though it's like right. we got two evil right. dudes right. and four dudes about their money and right. that's who's on this boat and that's why we right. kill all these dolphins we got two evil dudes or we got two evil women and and three like uh right. people on the internet or whatever we're trying to get these pledge this pledge money up right and it's just a hustle like and it makes right. a lot and of guys, sense to me yeah yeah guys there's there's one more aspect to that yes it's the money but you add to that that animal welfare just has a tendency for some reason to attract people that are emotionally unstable or have some sort of That'd emotional be need to be heard, <laughs> to be, <laughs> to be valued. <laughs> you know, so Why you say that? that <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think that? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. You're, all, no, you're, you're all very normal. We're that's all right. perfectly right. sane or whatever. That's, that's, right. that's damn straight. That's a good comment, Yeah, Cheryl. we need to the, the temp test. Yeah, I mean, there's crazy. There's going to be exactly. crazy folks, but you're absolutely right. I mean, you see, yeah. I mean, you can find a hardened criminal. You put a puppy in his face, so watch what happens to him. you got an right. uh, emotional, uh, you know, uh, And I'm, I'm not saying right. there's anything wrong with them. I'm just saying that their approach to it is much more emotional and based on their own emotional uh, um, health or whatever, than it is mm -hmm. on reality what needs to be done. Um, I, I've, you know. Yeah, you know, one thing, okay, because I'm going to make this last statement in one minute, and then we're going to do the dogs, Chris, so you can dogs, get ready. And you're the, um, <clears throat> the one thing that I've noticed, uh, Danny and Paula and Cheryl, is that in the entire couple of months that we got drug into this world and we stepped into it, uh, the one thing that I have not seen, and I'm letting out my little secret wish now, okay, <clears throat> that I've been watching for Cheryl, I've been watching for Paula, and Cheryl, I've heard you say this from, um, from time to time, and I've heard Paula say it, you know, um, but... I've been watching these people in this whole insanity. Mm -hmm. And do you know, I've never heard anybody, anybody say I apologize. Nope, won't hear it. Nope. Nobody right. is fucking never. wrong. They're right. They're all so right. 
What's wrong with that's insanity yeah. right there? What did I say when I uh, a couple of weeks ago, Paula? I was like, hey, if I offended you anybody, you apologize to everybody. I can't, yeah, it's like because that it, it it took me out of my character. It took me out of who I am. It put drove drug me into the insanity. And I know, as I said, you know, and I, you know, they say, what would Jesus do? I don't know. I never met Jesus. All right, maybe one day uh, Allah, Jehovah, Buddha, any of uh, the da the day, but I know what Jeanette Carter would do. Okay, Jeanette Carter would smack your ass in the back of the head. She'd send that pan flying across the room. She those keys would be coming. It, <laughs> hey, ain't none of that. Don't make me stop this car. No, car stop yeah. Your ass is whooped. <laughs> yeah. we didn't, I only yeah. got that. Don't make me pull over one time. All right? After that, it was like, you know what not to do. So if you do it, you just expect car pulling over, you're getting your ass whooped. Mama will pull me out of the seat in the sixth grade Catholic school, St. Cyril, Chicago. I mean, my mother was the secretary at the school, probably. She'd come into the classroom, uh, pardon me, sister, pull me out of the classroom, take me out in the hall, spank my ass in the hallway and I'm screaming all the whole, my scream is going all throughout the whole school right take me back into the class set me down in that seat on that fresh hot ass and say sister he won't get you no trouble no more so does the rescue community need a they need uh, to a ask that quarter yeah like, they, need they need my paddle, mama they need a they paddle need somebody on paddle baby. duty they, that rescue need an ass whipping that's what they need because you know? I mean because uh, you, you can't be wrong at policing can't themselves, be right. right yeah you can't be right all the time so ask no. yourself, when was I wrong? What, when did I step over the line? Because there's people out there pissed off right now. This woman, Donna Barone, and, the, and, and um, the, uh, Desiree, they ain't wrong. They ain't been wrong in 20 years. How you living? How you living? How's your life? Are you happy? No, I don't think so. Okay, maybe you should say, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe I'm going about this wrong. It's some other people, too. We'll get to y'all later on. But I'm just tired of the bullshit. You know? So when we come back, we're going to take us a little vacation. But when we come back, it's going to be a whole new kind of thing. We're going to do the what did the troll say. We're going to, yeah, as you said, the media, don't mess with the media. We the media, okay? Yeah, that's what I'm get, saying. It's face like we it. do something. Y'all going to get it right. Innovative. Or you know? I'm going to expose it. I'm going to just expose it. I ain't in the rescue, I ain't gonna, but I'm going to tell the truth because y'all telling the truth. I'm going to see if you guys are going to be responsible. So you keep writing, you keep destroying people's lives, and we're going to be the CNN of, uh, of, of, of the scum. I'm just saying, if you're, one thing I want to say is that if you are, if you do have to use these platforms, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or whatever, because it does have some genuine impact on the good work that it is that you're doing, at least, at the very least, use the internal controls that those platforms have to try to reduce or mitigate the stuff. Like, if I post something on YouTube, I upload something, there's a little button that says, do not allow comments. Boop. Mm -hmm. Then I don't have to deal with anybody, a troll or whoever, saying whatever it is that they want to say about my video. But some people, they say, oh, no, allow comments because I want to hear what it is that people say. Right. And then anybody with a YouTube account can go on there and blast your right. your uh, PSA about why it's evil to fight dogs or whatever. And you're right. like, well, press that button, y'all. Like, if you got Facebook and you got pictures of your family or whatever, things that you don't want somebody crazy using Photoshop and making a crazy meme about, put the private setting on your I on your photo you can, gallery. I, yeah, you, like, what are you getting yeah. out of sharing pictures of your daughter to millions of people that you don't know? But why shouldn't she be able to? That's what the whole thing. To her family. And, you can. Well, you can pick and choose. But you how got, many other no, platforms right. are there to send a picture to the people that are your actual friends? No, hey, I tell you what. I guarantee you, my, these, my, these crazies, these trolls aren't banging on Pinterest or like some <laughs> other application that's a, a more suited for what it is that you're doing. People, right. oh people, God, people don't give them any more ideas. <laughs> people, people open up their door, and then you get mad at that the, the the crazy <laughs> inmates know how to hop over a, a, a something that has a that's little right. barbed wire. So hey, listen, I'm gonna, I want you. Uh, Cheryl, I want you to hold that thought, cause we, okay. and you and Danny going to close it out when we come back with your thoughts. Uh, we're going to turn it over to Cheryl and, I mean, uh, to Paula and the dogs. But I want to say to everybody out there right now, whatever you're typing, cool. 
Good or bad, we're going to see it. And we'll read and we'll let everybody else know what's, what's going on. All right? So, you know, it, oh, this is the thing. We, Danny said, we the media. You ain't got no friends. Those are Facebook friends. Everybody that you think is your friend are sending me your stuff. Okay? We the media. Everybody knows we're trying to do something good. And if I fuck up, I apologize. I ain't got no problem with it. I'm not trying to be and God, but I'm going to make it right. monsters can only live in the dark. That's right. Mama, you, again, <laughs> my, I'm, I'm going to remake everybody <laughs> <laughs> under my mom. My mom, what? Your Cheryl, send me a picture so I can uh, Photoshop you into a, a Dalai Lama uh, robe <laughs> with all these sage comments you've been coming with today. All right. You need to know, write a book and send it to me. Yeah, I'll man. put that on my yeah, show. You know, these people be crank calling and they can, if they got your phone number, they can make it like your 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 number See, shows up. This brothers don't be answering the phone from anything. Like caller ID is probably the most significant invention of all time, right? Because it oh. allows us to not only dodge the bill man, but it also <laughs> dodge crazy ass fools no, like y'all. I'm saying, Danny, she calls with your number. With whose number? Your number. Your number come up, and this would be this insane person. Whose number? Yours. You mean she'll call you with yes. my number? Yes, yeah, she called me with Lamore's number. <clears throat> she calls me with with Wendy's number. She calls me with everybody that we had on. She calls me with uh, Christine's number. She calls me. Christine never been on the show. This is it's some hateful, evil, insane shit. And you uh, gonna, that takes, gonna make sure of, uh, you pay though, baby. That's awesome. You know, though, like, each one. Of, you know how you used to be a quarter for a phone call? They're gonna cost you a thousand dollars each one of them calls. We'll be, um, do we need to take a break? Huh? We gotta save the dogs too. Uh, I think that's uh, that means it's your time. That's our doggy song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris. <clears throat> First up, we have this cute black and white one-year-old male. He is in kennel 27. Next up, we have... Sheba, she has a name. She's in Kennel 22. She was an owner relief. Guess what the reason is? They're moving. Only people in the world to ever move. Amazing. Next up, we have in Kennel 25, and this is outside. Um, this is a male pit bull. Sorry, the picture isn't very, very good on that one. Poor guy. Next up, we have a friendly male. He's black, and he's in kennel 24. Now we have kennel 23, and this is an outside kennel. <clears throat> a dark brindle and white male, and he's pawing at the gate. He wants out. He wants to come home with you. Now we have Daisy. Daisy is in Kennel 71. She's a white boxer and she's about three years old. So that's the one that we have a lot of information on. Now we have Dee Dee. Dee Dee is in Kennel 61. She is a fawn colored boxer and she's very sweet and she's shy. She's about a year old. Okay, that are, those are our dogs today, and they are located uh, on the page Save Inland Valley Humane Society Dogs, and you can call them for additional information on any of these dogs. The number is 909-623-9673. And that is in Pomona, I hope I said that right, California. And that's our dogs for today. Somebody to come and get them and get them out of there and get them to safety so they can be happy and live happily ever after. All right. All right. Hey, hey. 
Let's get some homes, baby. We gotta Love save the, the dogs too. Hey, um. Can I say something real quick? No sure. way. You said hold on it's to that gonna be dog. Quick. Go yeah, right ahead. Danny, uh, what you were saying before is very valid about, you know, making your account private and, and all that other stuff. But my question is, how much are we uncrazy people supposed to limit ourselves to keep the crazies out? You know, I, I used to see seminars for um, how to deal with... Uh, hard to deal with people or whatever and i'm going what the fuck why don't we have a seminar for the hard to deal with people how not to be so freaking hard to deal with exactly you're absolutely right you're absolutely right and i, I think that there is a there is a line and there is clearly like uh another side to it i think that's part of the reason why you have attorneys and you have people yeah. that are uh when you're when you're dealing with something that is so new like all these internet laws and cyberbullying and things like that it's like yeah you know what we we do have to unfortunately wait for them to kind of um dictate or mandate the what the rules are so that the crazies can be uh, subject to things that are um kind of like that, that exists by themselves but until then um, you know, we have to exercise our due diligence and stuff like, you know what, it's like, yeah, you know what, I, I think I have some nice neighbors or whatever, but I got some deadbolts too and, and, uh, and a, couple of, uh, right, right. a couple of heaters inside if you want to come do that. Yeah. I do have a reasonable expectation of privacy in my home, but yeah. I, I, I personally feel like that once I, once I begin to step out outside, especially in the like cyberspace, this thing that it kind of like, like it, 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 we don't even know if it really exists or whatever like we we kind of lose some of that or we we lose some of that expectation and as people that are on the we feel are on the good side or trying to do things that are socially valuable we have a responsibility to not only take care of ourselves but also the people around us and um you know maybe that's maybe that's uh <laughs> donating our extra little money that we don't have to the mental health s societies or whatever to try to get these people <laughs> like you know whatever maybe it's trying to do things like this like uh, just have a forum and spread some joy and, and save some animals and do our good thing uh, for the day or for the week. And, um, you know, maybe at the same time, too, maybe it's smacking up a couple people, too, when they step out of line. And that's, I don't, I don't think yeah, that's I, always wrong either. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, I agree, you know what, Danny. if you want to get smacked up, you got to at least come through, you got to come through these three doors into the studio and get smacked around a little bit. But I'm not. I don't have those problems, and it's very difficult for me to wrap my head around uh, people that, that, that have some of these problems when I say, I, I, it just seems like I can just eject. If I don't want to go outside and deal with my crazy neighbor or if I don't want to uh, deal with the, the cop bothering me where I parked at, I'm just, I don't have to drive. I don't have to do some of these things. Yeah, it may, limit, it may limit certain parts of my life, but not the part that actually makes me happy and contributes to my general well-being. And those things, you're, you're I would right, never man. change anything about well, those things, those yeah. core things. But the little superfluous things, I'm like, you know what? Some chick with some, uh, some, some group of people that like to have a, their same matching t shirts at some park you can never hurt my feelings about right. what it That's is right. that you're doing like come on and and I, I, I want to say this too um oh shit 64 i'm 64 next month <laughs> i can't remember what the fuck i was doing <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, uh, no. hey real quick though mm -hmm. did you know uh did you guys hear uh, um our buddy gordon shell is back in the news did you see that story oh what uh nope. so uh <laughs> I mean, I'm a football guy, a Broncos fan, so don't hate if you want to start sending oh, me hate Vick. email or whatever. But uh -huh. the Steelers picked up Michael Vick, right, mm -hmm. as, no, a backup, no. as a backup oh, quarterback no. or whatever. So right. uh, Steelers fans are like, you know, especially the ones that own dogs or whatever, are like up in arms. They're just like, oh, this is the worst. Like, we can't. Why would you pick up this dude? I no. thought he was out of the league or whatever. Right. So they're having a hard time. And what Gordon has done is he's, uh, you know, he has those uh, those yeah, shirts that say me, "Fight Me, Mike Vick" or whatever. Yeah. So he's uh, he's he's offering to to send Steeler fans these shirts uh, without the shipping cost. You know, they have to pay for the shirts, right. but he's got them in Steeler colors and stuff, right. and kind of as a way to help assuage their. Uh, you know their sadness anger, and yeah. their anger, but also to raise awareness and to um, to put put some uh, 
good stuff. Hey, there goes Paula. Look, she got the mic. Vic. There it is. Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> you so, go, Dr. So Shell. Gordon's got these uh, these in the Steeler colors, the black and yellow. So if you're in Steeler land and you're feeling a little bit down about having to um, have Mike Vick represent your uh, squad, uh, go ahead and pick up one of those shirts. It goes to a good place. Gordon's a great guy, and he's uh, doing his best to, to fight some of these issues and bring them all to light. And I know a dude like that. He's on the front line. He deals with a lot of BS as well. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's um, my hero. You know, it's, it's, it's that's all we can do is just support people that are having a tough that's time. Right. So if you're having a tough time, somebody's banging on you on Facebook, or somebody's making your day rough. Foster, Paula, mm-hmm. Cheryl, anybody. If somebody or is on the. It's on, like you know what? Give me your address. I'll send you yeah. a box of chocolates or something that'll just light up your day. You know <laughs> what I'm right. saying? Because somebody's weirdos. looking over your fence. I never met a. I never met a somebody's got binoculars. I never met a, on, I'm on your a problem property. that chocolate couldn't fix there so, you go you know what i'm saying if that's these right. weirdos got well, more power than chocolate you know that's right and if and and if you're diabetic and you can't or you can't take the sugar then from the real chocolate get yourself a chocolate man Ooh, yeah. hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Just shameless plug hey listen uh breeder x everybody or breeder a sugar-free x. uh Pitbull Energy Drink. Sugar-free Pitbull Energy Drink. Hip Hop Bev. Hey. Dot com. <laughs> yeah. So hey guys, it's been wonderful. Uh, we truly appreciate you. We just want to spread some love. Paula, can we get a little love in the house? Yes, we can. We just need to pass it along to each other. There you, Cheryl. There you go. Oh, damn right. Love everybody. We need it. Just love, love you all. Okay, love is the only way. Get your ass out the house and go fishing. That's, that's right. My, and that's and my, if you feel <laughs> if you feel bad, unplug for a second, man. Yeah. Go watch episode two of Breeder X. Leave a comment. Share it with your friends. If you feel bad, you watch episode two. You'll feel good. Go, You'll go, be go, happy. Go Count visit your, your neighbor. Go visit right? your neighbor and make an actual good friend. Somebody that's gonna have your back once things. That's right. Cause there's a hole in the bucket. And I'm looking forward to this, uh, what did the trolls say? That sounds like some fun, man. We're going to have big fun with I ain't it. online, but yeah. I'm going to have some fun with yeah, that. Yeah, that's what we're going to take You're it to the Jay, scared, Danny. Jay yeah, Leno, I, I can man. tell. I can already tell. <laughs> if, if my head starts spinning around like the exorcist, I'm going to have to edit that out. But, hey, I'm an editor, you know what I'm saying? So I got that skill set. All right, we one love, guys. And we may be back Tuesday. If, if we stay here, we'll be back Tuesday. If not, then we'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right, Paula will let you guys know. Thank you so much. Bye. I'm a pit bull, and I approve this message. Thank <laughs> you.